YouTubers, it's your girl Shannon from Tesla and Chill, and here we are, we are sitting in Kanye, our Model 3, and I wanted to make this video just to go over the last software update that just happened a few days ago with you. Now, there aren't like a ton of software updates that were sent out, and I typically don't really make software update videos. Um, I feel like you can really just kind of read the release notes and see what it's about. But since these software updates that were sent out um, are kind of important, I think it would kind of be fun to go over them with you. But before we get started, take a hot second, hit that subscribe button, and drop us a like. Now, okay, let's go ahead and jump into these um, updates because again, even though there aren't a lot, um, the updates are actually kind of cool and pretty important. Okay, so here we are. You can see it's version, it's 2020.24.6.1. So let's go ahead, let's jump into these release notes and we can see what's new. Let me get you comfortable here. Is that good for you? Do you like that? Okay. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let me bump it up a little bit. Okay. So here we are. Now, the first thing you see is, of course, the traffic light and stop sign control. That is in, of course, the beta version. But this is super cool because what this means is that when you come to a traffic light um, and it turns green and there's a car in front of you, it's got that lead vehicle that's ahead of you, then autopilot will go ahead and it will continue to drive. You no longer have to, like, bump the stock like you used to or hit the accelerator pedal. Um, it should be able to do it for you. Of course, Tesla says to, like, continue to pay attention and don't like give your trust over to it completely always like have control of the car but that is like a super big thing um I feel like they should have like some bells and whistles or like maybe some fireworks because again that's a really big deal okay let's continue to go down the line here um because this is probably one of my new favorite things it's the backup camera improvement um and we're gonna show this in just a second on our own vehicle but you can see the picture right there so typically when you put your car into reverse you of course have the backup camera that shows um and again it's not special just to tesla a lot of cars do this now and some cars can even do the 360 bird's eye view and we've talked about that before um it's something i wish that tesla had itself but i think with this we're slowly working our way up to that maybe <laughs> but when you put your car in reverse you have the option to see it in two different views you can have just that one screen that comes up and you can see just what's behind you what we typically have seen or you can bump it up to see uh, what's behind you and what's on the sides of you so that's a really cool feature i'm really glad that Tesla has done that. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into the next improvement that has been made. And that is with the dash cam. Now, this is something that probably is like pretty minor in like your day-to-day -day driving. But if you're ever in like an accident, this is something that's going to be really important and it would definitely come in handy. Um, so basically what Tesla did, they added a red dot. And if you can see like right here, that is like that red dot that they added. Um, that way you can go ahead and it's easy to follow along sentry mode. Mode, and that way you can just kind of jump to where maybe an accident happened or basically where like sentry mode was triggered and you can see what happened like right before or the actual event. So I feel like that's kind of cool. And scrolling right along here, the next thing to talk about is the tune-in improvements. And this is basically for someone that listens to like a lot of podcasts. Um, it makes it a whole lot easier to browse content and you're able to like speed up your podcast if you want. It says you can speed it up up to two times. Um, for us, this comes in handy because if we're on the road, sometimes we'll listen to a church service. Um, we listen to like a lot of elevation worship with Stephen Burdick. Um, so sometimes when we do want to like find that podcast, now it's going to be super easy to do. And we'll use that tune in button here in just a minute once we scroll through all these updates. But we'll continue along here. These two, um, one is definitely more important than the other for me personally. Okay, this is what I love, the walk away door lock improvement. Now, our car is typically parked in the garage, so um, when I do lock the car, which happens frequently because, like, you usually have your phone in your pocket when you leave your car, so the door locks right after you leave, and then once I go inside the house, sometimes I realize maybe I left something in the car, so I want to go back out, um, but at that point, I already, like, put my phone on the couch or the counter. I lose my phone a lot, <laughs> so if the car can stay unlocked when it knows it's at home, that is perfect for me. 
I don't have to like locate my phone every time I need to get into the car. So love that A plus Tesla. That is an awesome, awesome improvement. Now this new one, the new language support, uh, you can now select Portuguese as your language. For me personally, I don't really speak a lot of Portuguese. Um, I did have a grandmother who was Portuguese and we used to call her Vor and Vor of course means grandmother in Portuguese. Um, so that is the one word that I know is Vor and I don't usually call a lot of people grandma. So I don't say that word a lot. <laughs> okay. But Portuguese is an option, um, for you Portuguese speakers. Okay, moving on here, let's talk about the cabin camera, which is right up here. If you can see that little dot, and there's me. Hi. Okay, yeah, so there is the camera. That is the cabin cam. Um, now, this one, I don't know how you feel about this. You can drop me a comment below. Let me know. But basically, if you want to help Tesla um, kind of create safer vehicles, they can kind of collect data by having the camera cam on. Um, so basically they don't have this on immediately. This is something you have to opt into. Um, and they show you exactly how you can opt into that if you would like it. And they even say that your cabin camera, uh, will not be associated with your VIN number. So it helps to protect your privacy. So basically what this is used for um, is for an accident. So Tesla is going to collect all the data and images and footage. And if there is an accident, they'll be able to watch the actual accident happen, like what happens inside the car. But even more importantly, they will be able to see like what happens just prior to the accident. So this is really helpful in terms of like how Tesla will move forward safety wise, I think, if the engineers are able to like help develop features to like I don't know, basically make you safer and reduce accidents. I think that's great. Now, that being said, uh, I don't think I'm going to have the cabin cam on. To me, that's just a little bit like weird. I don't know. I don't want someone to be watching me while I'm in my car. I think that's like a little bit big brother-y. <laughs> um, now, I understand like it goes for like a greater good of like hopefully making the car safer. So hopefully I'll be able to benefit from people who have turned the cabin cam on. Um, I just won't be one of those people. Um, I don't know. I don't want Tesla to see what happens when like I have romance mode on. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> um, but I really do think it's kind of weird a little bit. Um, so I won't be having the cabin cam on, but if you do, I think that's awesome. <laughs> okay. So basically those are all the release notes. These are just previous ones. So this is the latest update. Okay. So now I'm going to show you the two things I feel like are most important from this update. And that is of course going into reverse and seeing what's on the side of your cars. And what's also just kind of helpful is the tune in button that they've added. So you can help find your podcast easier. So, okay. So let's go to the tune in button since it's so easy to get to. Um, so basically I'm just going to hit the music button and then you can see I was already listening to a podcast. So tune in is already up, but say if I'm on like Spotify or something, um, and is your Spotify taking a long time to load? This is a complete side note. But lately, like when I hit it, I don't know, like it takes forever. And then sometimes it'll be in the middle of a song and it will just like cut out. Um, so I don't know why that's happening. Let me know if it's happening to you. Okay, but let's get back to TuneIn. Uh, so if I go to TuneIn, there's all the podcasts. You can see it's got things for you, podcast, music, sports, news, radio, login. Uh, so you can see here, there are a lot of like subcategories. We've got new episodes, favorites. Um, you can see my husband has been listening to the Joe Rogan experience, <laughs> uh, Tesla daily. Uh, here's where we do our church podcast. Um, Ooh, murder. Should I be scared? What has my husband been listening to? If something happens to me, you know who to look at. <laughs> uh, but here we go. There are other things here also, uh, just popular stations in your area, featured stations, kind of like on iTunes, basically how they have the podcasts like in categories. Okay, now let's get to the other thing here, which is of course the reverse cams. So let's pop this baby into reverse. Here we go. You can see how messy the garage looks. I'm sorry, we've been trying to organize that. <laughs> uh, but here we are. This is of course typically your main view. Here are the side views. And if you can see this really faint arrow right here, um, that's going to put it back to your traditional view that you've always been able to see just that straight up reverse cam. But if you want to bring in the side cams, just pop that little arrow and then the other things pull up. So you can see on the left side of the car is this little Ferrari. That's my son's new car. It is so cute. I'll show you that in a hot second, just because it's adorable. And then of course you can see on the right hand side, 
um, just what's there and basically there's a stroller in our door. <laughs> um, so that is it. That is basically all of the updates. I think again, some of them definitely probably more useful than others. Um, because again, I don't think I'll ever have my car in Portuguese, but again, if you are Portuguese, that's probably super important to you. Anyways, those are the latest updates. Now let me hop out real quickly just to show you this Ferrari because it is so cute. Uh, J3's grandfather just sent this to him. J3's papa. Now look at this. It is adorable. A La Ferrari, it is something that was like a hybrid. So I feel like it kind of fits into our family really well here. And this is so cute. It's even got like a little leather seat. Now, since our son is too little to hit the pedals right now, just that little pedal right there, um, it is remote controlled as well, and it's adorable. Let me just, hang on, let me pop the door for you real quick. How cute is that? How cute? Okay, it's adorable. So cute. Let me show you a picture of him in it. Okay, that is all I've got for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.